Hey there, everyone. Um, okay, we're talking about two-point perspective, and um, we're gonna keep this one pretty short. So here we go. Um, when we are working with two-point perspective, um, we learned the other day that one-point perspective is if we're looking at a cube where the subject has the face flat to you, and it can be here, or it can be over here, so you might see one of the sides, but the front is still flat, so it can move around um, like so. Two-point perspective is when you're working with a cube like so, and it has one of the edges closer to you, and it says that these two lines have to recede down to a point. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So we are gonna draw what we call the horizon line. And then we're gonna draw two points, hence the two-point perspective. These are called the vanishing points. In one-point perspective, we had a vanishing point and it was just one of them and it was in the middle. And we did the pinwheel off of it. So when we do this, how it's gonna work is we're gonna try and draw three cubes. We're gonna do one that's on the horizon line, one that's above the horizon line and closer to this vanishing point and another that's below the horizon line and closer to this vanishing point. So this is the front of the box. We are gonna start then from the front of the box and connect to the vanishing points. Like so. And now you can see where these two edges will meet. Now for doing observation, we would measure to see where these verticals go, but since we're making this up, it doesn't matter where we put them, just that they are in fact parallel to the vertical edge of the picture plane. It could go here for a narrow box, it could go out here for a wide box, it can go anywhere. So that is if we're looking right at the subject with our eye level in the middle of the cube. So if we're looking up at something, it goes above the horizon line or above the eye level. And you can see that the um, receding lines are narrower not because it's above, but because it's closer to the vanishing point. Look how these won't be quite as steep. This is because of where it's at in proximity to the two um, vanishing points. So if I did one over here, it would have steep lines here and narrow lines here. So again, like the other cube, I'm making up where these verticals go because I'm not really observing anything. And here's the fun part. To find the bottom of the box that you're looking up at, you crisscross over like so. And there's our cube. We'll do it over here. So I brought this one really close to the vanishing point. So you're gonna see how steep these angles are. And this one's really far from the vanishing point, so it'll be a more gradual shift. Again, I'm gonna drop those verticals anywhere since these are imagined. And then again, I'm gonna cross over to the vanishing point to find the back of the cube. And that is two point perspective. Okay, I'm gonna turn the video off and I'm gonna do one more short video. And like I said, we're gonna keep this exercise um, a little short today because we're gonna put one, in, one point and two point together um, into a rendered study um, in our next unit. I'll also in the next one talk a little bit about, very briefly about three point perspective and atmospheric perspective. Okay, I'll see you in a sec.